Hey guys, Derry here from Drake Wing Gamers. If you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming at you with a new Let's Play episode of After Class, Mark's Path. That's right, we're going for Mark this time. We just wrapped up with Lars, and well, thankfully the menu, the main menu, you can actually choose which character's episode you want to go ahead and go down. So I believe it takes, I believe it just takes you to, I guess, the closest relevant path to that character. So help us jump right in, guys. Please sit back and enjoy. Maintain you for the next 18 minutes, and let's jump right in. Our alarm chain, you're up, and let's go. All right. Fine, I'll do the thing. Ugh. So tired. I could use more, some more sleep. Marco, get up! It's Sunday! Yeah, I know! I know. Wait, Dad, why are you waking me up? It's fucking Sunday! Language. I'm 20 fucking one! I said language. Let's just get, let's just get it done and over with. I look at the enormous mirror in my gigantic room. Fancy. Yo, name's Mark. 21, single and happy. Oh, you might be wondering why you called me Marco. My full name was Marco Jackson Thornton, but I hate that, so I requested a name change. You can change my name in the name... In the name. Whoa. Mark now. Thank you so much. I've been living with my parents for two decades. Pathetic, am I right? Well, say whatever you want, but my parents are loaded. I wish I could live here forever. Not. I hate this place. I wish I could leave and run my and run away somewhere else. I live with my one and only father. How beautiful! A loving father with his obedient son living in perfect harmony. That makes me so sick. I suppose I should go undress if I want to clean myself. Are we seriously undressing? We have an audience. Fine. I suppose we have to. The world's got to see this perfection. Oh fuck! Well, hell there. Yep. Uh. Mm -hmm. Hello there. I take off my clothes. I take off my clothes, staring at myself in the mirror. Ha! Huh, what am I still doing here? I should just sit out, sit inside the tub while waiting for it to fill up. Wow, I didn't, I didn't realize it looked that good. I suppose there's some upsides to go to the gym with Anders. Let's see. I use this, I use this moringa scented bath bomb today. I say it's like it's not the only thing I use every day. Don't ask why I use a flower scented soap, okay? It smells good. Huh. I'm seriously sleepy. Still sleepy. I sit down inside as I wait for the water to fill the tub. When it finished pouring, I turn the knob to stop the water. Ah, life is good. Ugh. Sleepy. Maybe I can get some more Z's. Don't fall asleep in the bathtub, you idiot. Marco? Fire! An earthquake! Apparently my dad was there, shaking me when I'm relaxing in my bathtub. And to make matters worse, I'm naked right now, and he's here. Seriously? I'm here lying down naked in the bathtub, and you're here? Seriously? I can't see anything, my son. Don't get the reason why you're upset. What are you doing? What are you doing in my room, even? I got worried. I thought something happened to you. Nothing happened to me. Get out of my room. But son, get out of my room. Alrighty. Ha! <laughs> My mood's ruined. What's his problem? I should get up now and dry myself now. My skin almost feels like my grandf my grandmother's. Dad's, right? Yeah, they worry when they shouldn't. Okay, I think I have everything with me now. Let's just head out without him knowing. The only thing I like about this house is that it's big. I can sneak out of this place easily. But then again, if it wasn't here in the first place, I wouldn't have to sneak around like this. No, oh, brother's room. I should probably tell him I'm heading out now. Hey, brother, I'm heading out now. No answer, like usual. He's so busy nowadays. I shouldn't stand here any longer. Fresh air, finally. I'm out of there, but now what? Eh, doesn't matter. I'll go wander around somewhere quiet. Maybe the neighborhood across the river will do. I'm a little confused, so... Is this... So, is this playthrough entirely from... Is this episode entirely from uh, his point of view? Okay. I'm guessing this is a side story. Okay. Huh. Alright, so I guess I'll call this a side story then. Ah, Publix! My favorite place in the whole world! It's almost like the hub of Highwell. Actually, that arcade is my favorite place in the world, too. Maybe the playground, too. Yeah, I don't know. I just like it here as long as it's not my house. Refreshing. I always like it here. 
Come on, Coach Gill, let's stop here for some quick grub. No, Parker, it's enough there, that's enough food. We've stopped like several times for a quick grub. We're exercising right now, not on a trip. Oh, these two. I don't recognize that one, but one of them is a coach at my school. Losers. Now, not wanting to deal with these two, I walk away. But things never work in my favor, do they? I heard that. Crap! I should have kept my mouth shut. <laughs> what are you doing here early in the morning, Mark? Walking. Walking. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, who is that? Ah, it's Parker, my friend. No wonder. <laughs> nice to meet you. Hmm. I think I've seen him before. Yeah, sure, likewise. Hey, Gil, do you think he doesn't like me? I'm sure he doesn't dislike you. That's just how he is. I heard that crystal clear, but I'll just pretend that I didn't. Anyway, we gotta go now. I have a feeling that you two will see each other a lot. I sure hope not. Ouch. T take care, Mark. Yeah, you too. Now, where were we? Hmm. I'll just walk around. This place isn't that big anyway. Huh. I thought this place was for rent. The usual house for rent sign is nowhere to be seen. Maybe someone has finally rented this place. I bet whoever's renting this place is loaded. It's probably nothing important. Let's ignore it. <laughs> Alright, so I guess this is a little prequel of sorts. What the fuck am I doing here? I guess it won't hurt to sit down and see those plebes plant that rice for us. There's no way I can sit down on the ground like this, so I sit up on top of a conveniently placed rock in this pat in this paddy field. It's so boring. Hmm? When I look at my phone, I see I'm getting a call from a private number. Normally I just ignore it, but I'm bored right now, so I pick it up. Somehow something tells me that I have to answer this call. I don't know why. Who is it and what do you want? Is that how you greet an old friend over the phone? Oh, really now? An old friend? I'm not sure you'd use a private number if you were my friend. That doesn't matter. I have something interesting that you might want to know. I'm listening. Your brother. What about him? The person who made him the way he is now. Are you toying with me? Who taught you th who taught you that kind of manner? Don't interrupt other people talking. Anyway, that person. He's moving to Highwell. And if I'm right, he should be arriving at the train station soon. Maybe five to ten minutes from now. Don't you want to see him? Just in case you want to take revenge and do the same thing as he did to your brother? You'll know you know you'll know when you see him. I have no fucking idea what you're talking about. My brother's doing just fine. Oh poor you. I don't want to exchange another word with you. Feeling frustrated to stop the call before I get up. What is he talking about? That was weird. Don't don't judge me, okay? I can't help it. If someone told you that, I'd sure you do the same. They say curiosity killed the cat, but I call that bullshit. Cats have nine lives, anyway, so losing one is no big deal. I should have asked what he's wearing. What am I doing here? There's no way that prank call was true. The last train left five minutes ago. I look around, check in the waiting area, and I see one guy sitting on the bench. Oh, shit, what the f- This raises some immediate questions. Okay. Of all people, he's the one that's standing out too much to me. Well, the reason is that he's bringing a lot of things with him, and he's sitting all by himself. I didn't realize that tears had been coming out of my eyes until, well, until I realized it. Probably got something in my eyes. Huh, <laughs> what's happening? Get it together, Mark, it's just dust. Good thing that there's no one, <laughs> good thing that there's no one near and I'm stand where I'm standing right now, or it would have been a shit show for me. Once I'm calmed down, I look at him again and notice that he looks sort of familiar. Someone from my high school. Someone from my childhood? Whatever, that's not important right now. He's looking around, looking confused. He has that kind of dumb smile on his face, so decide not to help him. Maybe I should head back now. After making sure that I don't look like I just cried with my front camera, because I didn't, of course, I left the train station. At least that's what I planned to do, but I feel bad leaving him all by himself. And I don't know why, so I told one of the staff people at the train station that someone needed help. There you go. I can't stop thinking about that guy at the train station. I hope he's okay. Huh. Maybe he's the one who rented this place. I should wait for him here. It's not like I'm interested in him or anything. I just feel like I've seen him before. Maybe not recent, but some sometime long ago. I should ask my dad later. Or not. I don't want to talk to him. I don't need to help from a wannabe investigator. I'll do my own investigation. Oh! There it is, a cab approaching this neighborhood. If my intuition is right, he might be the ins he might be inside. 
I stand in front of the broken vending machine, pretending that I'm trying to get something to drink as I wait for him to arrive. Jeez, I feel like I'm stalking someone. Well, I am stalking someone, but it's for good reasons. What kind of reasons? I, I can't tell you. Oh, speaking of good reasons, don't tell anyone that I broke this vending machine last week. It's for another good reason that I can't tell you. Thank you so much. Have a good day. You too, kid. That's him. I guess this is the place they rented for me? It's a little too big. Gah! My phone! It's me. Henry. Henry Graham? Yeah, I'm here, Mom. But don't you think it's a little bit too big for myself? I suppose that's true. Oh, yeah, I saw my school on the way here. Thanks for finding me a place close to the uni, Mom. Yeah, I'll head in now. I'll talk to you later. Mama's boy, huh? Interesting. I can't believe I finally moved out. This is so exciting. He's a little bit weird. Well, I should head in now. Hmm? Crap, gotta hide. I quickly walk away from the vending machine before he notices me spying on him. It's broken? What a shame. I could have gotten something to drink easily if it wasn't. Maybe that guy thought it wasn't broken and tried to get something to drink. Thank goodness he didn't realize I'm stalking him. Why am I admitting that I'm stalking him? Well, hopefully someone fixes it later. He goes in and he goes in and I walk back to where I was. That guy's interesting. Maybe I should hang out with him sometime. He talked about seeing his school on the way here, and the only school here is Highwell University. Hmm. Never thought I'd go home by my own accord. It had to be done. I work better when I'm at home. Let's hope that the old man isn't home. Maybe I should tell him first. I stand in front of my brother's room, telling him what was what was what has happened so far. Hey, brother, I hope you're doing fine. Day's been slightly strange. I got a phone call out of nowhere. He told me that someone who made you like this has moved to Highwell, and it's my chance to get revenge. You wouldn't want that, right? Ha! <laughs> How silly! Why would you need revenge? Why would you need revenge anyway? There's nothing wrong with you. What the fuck is going on? This is giving me some weird vibes. Hmm. Right. Honestly, I don't know, but I believe he's fine. Like usual, no answer from him. Hell, I guess I'll go back to my room now. Take care, brother. As I walk away from his room, I heard a voice coming from inside. <laughs> really? Really? Avenge me. Huh? Brother, is that you? No answer. I don't know if that was real or I was just hearing things, but it sounded real to me. Back so soon? Yeah, what? What do you want? No, nothing. It's not usual for you to come back this early. What happened? It's none of your business. Ah, okay. Do you... Never mind, son. I get it. You're worried and I appreciate that, but I can take care of myself. I'm going back to my room now. Please don't bother me. Ooh, that's a nice room. Damn, that is a fucking nice room. Phew! You might be wondering why I'm acting that way towards him. It makes me look like a brat, I know, but I have my reasons. Mm, excuse me. Don't let him deceive you. He might be calm and gentle at this moment, but once he loses his cool, all hell breaks loose. He did it when I was a kid, and I'll forever remember that. I won't forgive him for what he did to me. No, I can't forgive him. Anyway, enough about that. Where were we? Right, finding information about that guy. It seems like I've seen him before, but I don't quite remember where. Someone from my childhood, perhaps? Ugh, everything related to my childhood is with my dad. How am I gonna find it? Eh, yeah, I'll deal with it tomorrow. For now, let's do something productive. By productive, I mean play games, lays around, and eat snacks. I'm the type to do something at the last minute, and it always works. I know one guy who writes stories. He always does it right before his deadline. And it works for him, too. Let's see what to play. Queendom Hearts 2, maybe. <laughs> Gah, I should have gotten something to eat or snack on while I was around Publix. The next day. Ugh. Hmm. It's morning already? I ended up lazing around the whole weekend and didn't do any of my research. That's me in a nutshell. Procrastination at its best. At this point, I should just forget about that guy. It's not important anyway, since when do I care about someone? That's unlike me. Marco, are you awake? It's Monday today. I hear ya. At least he did it right today. I really hate it when he wakes me up on the weekends. I like it matters anyway. I haven't gotten a week of sleep since last night. Hmm. Ugh, God, he's constantly yawning. Why did they invent school? I wish I could stay in bed all day every day. I want to go home already. Because I walk so slow from the bus station, it seems like I'm almost late for school. If not already late, it doesn't matter anyway. Another reason why I was almost late for school is because I bought some snacks on my way here. 
Don't stand there, Mark. You're getting in people's way. Uh, um, oh, Coach Gill. It's quite an exaggeration. There's still a lot of space in between. Just go to your class. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Wait, aren't you late for your class right now? More or less, but speak for yourself. Heh. <laughs> it happens sometimes. Be a sweetheart and say nothing about this, alright? I'll get going now, and you should too. Whatever, coach. Well, I should listen to him and head in now. Walking in, I notice that there's someone looking around, confused. That guy's probably new, but I don't have time to show him around. I pray you good luck, stranger. Hopefully you'll find someone who's kind-hearted enough and willing to show you around. As soon as I think about that, I someone approached him. Well, my prayers have been answered. Amen. They're too far from me, so I can't see them clearly. Maybe it's time to get myself new contacts. Ugh. I can't help but feel like I've seen them before, though. Yeah, it's Henry. Huh, my professor is late. Nice! I heard that there's going to be a new English literature teacher, so maybe they're still sorting things out in their office. I can try taking some cat naps while I'm here without having to worry about my dad waking me up. Sleepy. Wow, this someone's messaging me on Steam? Okay. Hmm. How long have I been asleep? Looks like the class is starting now. My name is Parker Stone. You may call me Mr. Stone. I'm a new professor here in Highwell, so please go easy on me. <laughs> well... I don't think the details are important, but if you guys have any questions for me, please don't hesitate to ask. What kind of introduction was that? That outfit. He's the one I saw earlier. I hope he didn't know that I ignored him just a while ago. Okay. Alright. Wait a minute. Isn't that the guy I met yesterday? So he's a new professor here. So much for not seeing each other. Yeah, what a mess. He starts the lecture right after that weird introduction. Maybe I can get some more sleep. As I rest my head on the desk, I see someone that looks a little bit familiar. That dark shade of magenta. It's a guy I met yesterday. Apparently I didn't have to do anything at all. Everything worked out just fine. But what's he doing right now? He's looking at our professor with such passionate eyes. Ooh, is that what I think it is? That's re That really is him. I'm surprised that no one asked him to introduce himself or anything. It's as if he's invisible to everyone else. Am I seeing things? I'm not seeing things, right? <laughs> I should ask Abby if he's really here. Hey, Abby. Well, what? You know that guy? No, I don't. He's the new guy everyone was talking about, right? I don't know. I wasn't here last Friday. It's your fault, then. Please don't bother me. I'm not as smart as you. I need to listen to the lecture. Yeah, fine. Now I know that I'm not seeing things. I should just talk to him. You know, making a good, friendly first impression. Hey. No response. Uh, that hey, he should, he should stop. He should stop paying attention to him. There's something better here. Me, since calling out to him yields no result. I wave my hand in front of his face. He finally looks at me, confused. Hey, I've been calling out for you for a while now. Oh, I I'm sorry. I got distracted. It strikes me as understandable that he's distracted. He certainly looks like the clumsy, distracted type. And naive also. He's staring at me as if he was thinking of something, or that he's there's something on my face. What is it? Is there something on my face? Oh, no, you just look familiar. Do I know you from somewhere? Oh, crap. He didn't see me yesterday, did he? I hope not, but then again, I thought he looked familiar. Maybe he knows something. Alright, guys, I'm gonna pause it right here. So, I guess this is a bonus episode, so this is not Mark's path, I suppose. This is Mark's episode. Okay. So, I'm gonna mark this as bonus content. Anyway, so we will get... Uh, guys, let me know if we should get through this before we do Mark's proper path. I'm kind of curious. Or should I go ahead and just do Lars's bonus episode? Guys, let me know in the comments. I'm curious. I'm just a little confused about the, the structure of this. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or a tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!